But for prayer to really be friendship, you don't just talk, you have to hear. How does that happen? Now, there are plenty of people who say, oh, yes, of course, to be friends with God, you pray, but you have to hear him in your heart. And by the way, yeah, I actually do think, especially when you do what I'm about to tell you to do, hearing him in your heart is definitely a fair way of putting it. But I have to tell you, when you just have a feeling that God is saying you should move and you should, you should move and go to another town or you should, take, you should quit your job and take another job or you should date this person or you should stop dating this person, God told me that. Whenever I have people that tell me they have this strong impression these things are from God, I would say, well, that may be, um, may be the wisdom of God. It may not be. But I, I, I wish, I usually say, I wish you wouldn't say God told me that. Because I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. Uh, oh, well, you know, infelicitous rhetoric. Uh, I will say this. If I'm getting messages that I'm not sure are from my friend, it's not the best way to communicate. So I think that's from her. I think that's from him. No, I need to know it's from him or her. And frankly, things that go on in your heart can be wrong. You know, George Whitfield thought God told him that his son was going to grow up to be a great preacher, and then his son died as an infant of a... Of a, a in, tragically, of, a, of a, a, a sickness. And Whitfield realized that even though he thought God was telling him that, it was actually fatherly uh, pride, which he mistook as, the, as divine prompting. And so, look, if you want to know that God is speaking to you, and that's the only way to have a, a decent friendship, you have to know your friend is speaking to you, you've got to go to the Bible. Because in the Bible, God is speaking to you. Not only is God speaking to you, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 says, the word of God is alive and active. Um, you know, in, in Genesis 1, God said, let there be light, and there was light. He doesn't say God said, let there be light, and then went ahead and made light. God's word was his power. God said, let, the, let there be light, and there was light. Go to uh, Psalm 29. It talks about the, uh, it says, uh, uh, you know, the... the the thunder, it, it thunders, it lightnings. And it says, the voice of the Lord thunders, the voice of the Lord lightnings. It's like Genesis chapter 1. That is, when God speaks, it happens. God's word is a power. It's not like God's word is not like our word. We say something, but then we have to do it. God's word is his active power. And when you hear God speaking to you in his word, when you study his word, when you hear his voice to you in his word, that is his power coming into your life. That is his reality coming into your life. 